hello students myself ganesh rajade today we are going to discuss about uh, topic hook joint analysis so all of you know uh, what is hook joint is so hook joint is uh, generally used for the connection of two shafts <coughs> which are having a misalignment and that misalignment may be linear or it may be angular misalignment so it accommodates both linear as well as angular misalignment the figure shows a typical uni uh, universal joint where uh, two shafts are shown one is driving and other one is a driven shaft these two shafts are connected with the help of a coupling which is called as hook joint or universal coupling this universal coupling consists of a major part uh, which is shown over here uh, as the arms of uh, this part which is called as cross so this cross has having two arms arm ab and arm cd these two arms connects the two forks which are uh, connected to driving and driven shaft so the hook joint is used for connecting two shafts whose axes are non parallel but intersecting now this uh, hook joint is found uh, application in the transmission from gearbox to differential or back back axle of automobile it is also used for transmission of power to different spindles of multiple drilling machine uh, it can found also in milling machine now in the analysis of hook joint uh, we can find out the variation in the velocity of the hook joint uh, that is from driving to driven shaft for this let us assume that we are uh, having a view of hook joint from a driving shaft end so in this case we can have so when we are looking from a driving shaft end uh, the driving shaft cross member uh, will be observed as a uh, forming a circle where it is shown in the front view so ab is the arm of a driving shaft cross member so this ab arm it attached to a driving shaft lies in the plane <coughs> containing the axis of two shafts now let us uh, uh, consider the driving shaft to rotate through an angle theta so that the arm ab moves in the circle and it attains a new position a1 b1 so which can be seen in this diagram it has moved by an angle theta and it has reached to position a1 b1 now let us assume that cd which is an arm of a uh, cross member of driven shaft uh, takes a new position c1 d1 here you can see this c1 and d1 uh, on the ellipse at an angle theta now as uh, we are observing from the driving shaft end the driven shaft is inclined with the axis of driving shaft at an angle alpha so uh, while the rotation of uh, driven shaft uh, it will the cross member of uh, driven shaft will uh, be observed as an ellipse uh, so the true angle uh, of this driven shaft must be on the circular path though it is observed as an ellipse from this driving end it must be uh, in order to get its true angle uh, it will be on this uh, circle so that true angle will be obtained if we project the point c1 on the 
circ this circle so it is shown by a point c2 therefore this c o 2 will be equal to phi so this is the angle uh, through which driven shaft rotates now let us consider a triangle o c1 m so in this diagram triangle o c1 m the angle o c1 m this is o c1 m is equal to theta as these two lines are parallel to each other and these angles are opposite to each other so the angle will be equal to theta now if we take a uh, projection of this front view and if you try to draw a top view of it uh, we can see that uh, this if we consider AB which is a uh, arm of uh, driving shaft member as horizontal then the CD will be inclined at an angle alpha with the AB so if you take a plan of uh, this front view it will be uh, seen like this now if we project these uh, point C1 and uh, C2 also M and N uh, in the top view will get tan theta is equal to OM upon MC1 so OM upon MC1 if you observe this uh, here in this front view tan theta will be equal to OM upon MC1 similarly uh, the triangle OC2N from this the angle OC2N in this OC2N will be equal to phi and the tan phi will be equal to if, it, if uh, this angle is phi then tan phi will be equal to this length that is O n O n divided by n c 1 that is vertical length uh, which is equal to O n upon m c 1 because n c 2 is equal to m c 1 from this diagram we can observe c1 is projected as c2 so it's a horizontal line and m and n also lies on the horizontal line both are parallel to each other so having equal length so o n upon n c1 n c2 sorry is equal to o n upon m c1 so if you take a ratio of these two then it will be tan theta upon tan phi is equal to O m upon m c 1 into m c 1 upon O n. So finally we will get O m upon O n. Now O m is equal to O m is equal to O n 1. If we see uh, top view then O m is equal to O n 1 into cos of alpha that is if you take cos alpha angle it will be o m upon o n 1 so i can write o m is equal to o n into cos alpha where alpha is the angle of inclination of driving and driven shaft now tan theta is equal to tan phi into cos of alpha so we have seen that O m is equal to O n cos alpha. So I can replace this term O m upon O n equal to cos alpha. So what I will get finally is tan theta is equal to tan phi into cos of alpha. Here uh, we are assuming that omega is uh, the angular velocity of driving shaft which is the derivative of angular displacement with respect to time uh, for driving shaft the angular displacement is theta 
whereas for driven shaft the angular displacement is phi so d phi by dt will be equal to angular velocity of driven shaft which is assumed as omega 1 so if we differentiate both side of uh, the above equation uh, that is tan theta is equal to tan phi into cos alpha what we will get is sec square theta into d theta by dt is equal to as cos alpha is constant uh, the differentiation of tan phi will be sec square phi into d phi by dt now we have assumed d theta by dt as omega and d phi by dt as omega 1 substituting that those values we will get sec square theta into omega is equal to cos alpha into sec square phi into omega 1 so if we take a ratio <coughs> of angular velocity of driven shaft to angular velocity of driving shaft we will get sec square theta divided by cos alpha into sec square phi so sec uh, square theta can be written as 1 upon cos square theta so this uh, equation of ratio of angular velocities of driven shaft to driving shaft can be written as 1 upon cos square theta into cos alpha into sec square phi now uh, we know that sec square phi is equal to 1 plus tan square phi this is the mathematical equation now uh, tan theta is equal to tan phi into cos of alpha which we have seen previously uh, so if we substitute uh, the value of tan uh, phi and take square of that value from this equation that is uh, tan square phi will be equal to tan square theta upon cos square alpha this is substituted in the above equation uh, we, we are getting this equation now uh, this further can be written as uh, that is tan square theta can be written as sin square theta upon cos square theta so uh, this equation further uh, can be solved and can be written as cos square theta into cos square alpha plus sin square theta upon cos square theta into cos square alpha taking cos square theta common uh, we can write 1 minus sin square alpha which is uh, or I can say cos square alpha can be written as 1 minus sin square alpha so that is what is written here so that uh, cos square theta uh, plus sin square theta uh, can be uh, written equal to 1 so we get an equation which is 1 minus cos square theta into sin square alpha divided by cos square theta into cos square alpha so we are having sec square phi is equal to 1 minus cos square theta into sin square alpha divided by cos square theta into cos square alpha substituting this value in this above equation of uh, ratio of angular velocities uh, we can get this equation as 1 upon that is omega 1 upon omega is equal to 1 upon cos square theta into cos alpha substituting value of sec square uh, phi we can write this equation in this form so substituting this value this value in this equation above equation we'll get uh, multiplying this term we get cos alpha divided by 1 minus cos square theta into sin square alpha now uh, this equation further can be written as um, in terms of uh, rpm it can be written as n1 upon n is equal to cos alpha upon 1 minus cos square theta into sin square alpha now this is what uh, the equation of the ratio of speed of driving shaft 
sorry driven shaft to driving shaft so n13 represents the speed of driven shaft whereas n represent the speed of driving shaft so this is a final equation for the ratio of angular speed for hook joint now uh, the maximum and minimum speed of driven shaft how to get maximum and minimum speed at driven shaft uh, now we know the uh, velocity ratio is that is omega 1 upon omega is cos alpha upon 1 minus cos square theta into sin square alpha so just uh, writing omega 1 is equal to that is angular speed of driven shaft is equal to omega into cos alpha divided by 1 minus cos square theta into sin square alpha if we uh, if you try to find out uh, the maximum and minimum speed uh, that is the value of omega 1 will be maximum uh, for given value of alpha which is a constant uh, term uh, for that uh, we have to substitute the value of cos square theta is equal to 1 which is there in the denominator so if uh, the value of denominator is minimum then we can get maximum value of omega 1 so we can substitute uh, the value of cos square theta equal to 1 that is uh, it will be 1 when theta will be equal to 0 degree 180 degree or 360 degree and if we substitute that value the maximum speed of driven shaft if we substitute this value as 1 uh, then the maximum speed of driven shaft will be omega into cos alpha divided by 1 minus sin square alpha and we know that 1 minus sin square alpha is cos square alpha so omega cos alpha upon cos square alpha one term of cos alpha will get cancelled and will get omega upon cos alpha so uh, maximum speed of a driven shaft uh, will be equal to omega upon cos alpha uh, further we can write it in terms of rpm as n1 max will be equal to n upon cos of alpha now, similarly uh, the value of omega 1 will be minimum that is uh, velocity angular velocity of driven shaft will be minimum if a denominator value is maximum and this denominator value will be maximum for this equation when cos square theta is equal to 0 and for that theta must be equal to 90 degree 270 degree uh, etc so if we substitute that value the minimum speed of driven shaft will be equal to omega into cos of alpha so denominator will remain as 1 if I substitute cos square theta equal to 0 I will get uh, denominator value as 1 and omega 1 will become omega into cos of alpha so minimum value will be omega into cos of alpha and in terms of rpm I can write n1 minimum is equal to n into cos of alpha now next is a polar diagram so here we can see uh, this uh, circle there are two uh, uh, one is a circle and other one is ellipse so the circle represents the velocity of a driving shaft whereas ellipse represents velocity of driven shaft now the speed of a driven shaft is maximum uh, you can see at two points that is at 90 degree and 270 degree which is represented by point 3 and 4 where the speed of uh, uh, here uh, the speed of driven shaft is minimum at 3 and 4 now uh, since there are two maximum and two minimum speed of driven shaft like uh, the maximum speed are at 1 and 2 and minimum speed are at 3 and 4 um, 
uh, the f uh, the four points uh, uh, where driving and driven shaft uh, will have same value are five, six, seven, and eight. And since the angular velocity of driving shaft is uh, constant, as I told, uh, which that uh, is represented by a circle of radius omega. That is this circle represents uh, the angular velocity of a driving shaft whose radius is equal to omega. Now the driven shaft has a uh, variation in the angular velocity uh, represented by an ellipse uh, of a semi-major axis of omega upon cos of alpha and semi-minor axis omega and to cos of alpha. Now, uh, uh, we have seen in the polar diagram there are four points where the driving and driven shaft are having ang uh, same angular velocities. So, what is the condition of equal speed of driving and driven shaft? For this, uh, we have the equation of ratio of angular velocities of driving and driven shaft, which is omega 1 upon omega is equal to cos alpha upon 1 minus cos square theta into sin square alpha. So in order to have equal speeds the condition is omega must be equal to omega 1. So if we substitute that value we will get numerator is equal to denominator. So that is what is written here cos of alpha is equal to 1 minus cos square theta into sin square alpha. So if we take 1 on left hand side we will have equation as cos square theta into sin square alpha is equal to 1 minus cos alpha that is cos square theta is equal to 1 minus cos alpha upon sin square alpha this is the condition for equal speed of driving and driven shaft now keeping that aside uh, we know that sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta uh, which is further can be written as uh, 1 minus 1 minus cos alpha upon sin square alpha so just now we have seen that cos square theta is equal to 1 minus cos alpha upon sin square alpha that value is substituted uh, in this uh, particular equation here so sin square alpha is nothing but it is 1 minus cos square alpha this 1 minus cos square alpha further can be written as 1 plus cos alpha and 1 minus cos alpha so 1 minus cos alpha will get cancelled and will uh, remain with the equation 1 minus 1 upon 1 plus cos alpha that is uh, cos alpha upon 1 plus cos alpha now uh, we have derived the equation previously as cos square theta is equal to 1 minus cos alpha divided by sin square alpha which is condition of equal speed of driving and driven shaft now if we take a ratio of these two uh, dividing these two equation uh, we can get sin square theta upon cos square theta is equal to dividing this two we will get cos alpha upon 1 plus cos alpha into sin square alpha upon 1 minus cos alpha so sin square theta upon cos square theta is nothing but tan square theta and right hand side will be cos alpha into sin square alpha divided by 1 minus cos square alpha uh, so 1 minus cos square alpha is sin square alpha so sin square alpha will get cancelled so we'll have tan square theta is equal to cos alpha that is tan theta is equal to plus or minus uh, under root cos of alpha now uh, this is the condition of equal speed of driving and uh, driven shaft now there are two 
values of theta corresponding to positive sign and two values corresponding to negative sign. Hence, there are four values of theta and at which the speed of driving and driven shaft are equal, uh, which is shown as 0 0.5, 6, 7 and 8 in the polar diagram which we have seen. Uh, now next, uh, if I want to find out the angular acceleration of driven shaft, uh, we know that omega 1, that is angular velocity of driven shaft is omega cos alpha divided by 1 minus cos square theta into sin square alpha, uh, which is further can be written as uh, omega into cos alpha in bracket 1 minus cos square theta into sin square alpha raised to minus 1. Now if I differentiate above equation, uh, because it's an angular velocity, if you differentiate, we'll get angular acceleration of driven shaft. On differentiation of omega 1 with respect to time, we'll get following equation. That is, omega cos of alpha, which is constant. Uh, so the differentiation of 1 upon 1 minus cos square theta into sin square alpha is written over here then the cos square theta the differentiation of theta that is d theta by dt and this can be written as minus omega square cos alpha into sin 2 theta into sin square theta divided by 1 minus cos square theta into sin square alpha so for angular acceleration to be maximum I uh, will differentiate uh, above equation with respect to theta and will equate to 0. Then we will arrive at a condition where uh, cos 2 theta will be equal to sin square alpha into 2 minus cos square 2 theta upon 2 minus sin square alpha. This is the angular acceleration of driven shaft. Now maximum uh, fluctuation of speed in order to calculate uh, the maximum fluctuation of speed, we know that the maximum speed of driven shaft is omega upon cos of alpha. And minimum speed of driven shaft is omega into cos alpha. The fluctuation is nothing but it is a subtraction of the maximum speed and the minimum speed. So Q, if it is maximum fluctuation, if Q is the fluctuation, then uh, it will be equal to omega 1 max minus omega 1 minimum. Uh, if we substitute uh, the values of omega 1 max and omega 1 min, uh, we will get uh, the equation as omega into 1 minus cos square alpha upon cos alpha, which is further can be written as 1 minus cos square alpha can be written as sin square alpha into omega upon cos alpha. So sin alpha upon cos alpha will be equal to tan alpha and one sin alpha will remain as it is and we'll get Q is equal to omega into tan alpha into sin alpha. Since uh, alpha is small angle, therefore we can substitute cos alpha equal to 1 and sin alpha equal to alpha in radians. So we'll get uh, the fluctuation of speed equal to omega into alpha square. So the maximum fluctuation of speed of driven shaft is approximately varies as a square of angle between the two shaft that is alpha. Thank you.